Edexcel, A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2020, question 13. The function g is defined by g of x equals 3 lin x minus 7 over lin x minus 2, where x is larger than 0 and not equal to k, where k is a constant. For part a, we need to deduce the value of k. So k is going to be the value that gives us a 0 for the denominator. So if lin x minus 2 is equal to 0, hence g of x is not defined, then lin of k must be equal to 2, therefore k is equal to e squared. For part b, we need to prove that g dash x is larger than 0 for all values of x in the domain of g. So let's work out g dash x. We know that g is a fraction, u over v. So if we are differentiating this, we're going to use our formula for differentiating fractions, which is that g dash x equals v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. So u is our numerator, 3 lin x minus 7. If we differentiate this, remember lin x goes to 1 over x, so we'll end up with 3 over x, and the 7 disappears. V is our denominator, the next minus 2, which will differentiate to just the 1 over x, the 2 disappears. Putting these into our formula, we get that g dash x equals lin x minus 2 times by 3 over x, minus 3 lin x minus 7 times 1 over x, and that's all over lin x minus 2 all squared. Now expanding the brackets on the top and bringing those over x's on the top down to the bottom, we get that 3 lin x minus 6 minus 3 lin x plus 7 all over x lin x minus 2 all squared. Looking at the top, we've got a 3 lin x and a minus 3 lin x. They're going to cancel. Minus 6 plus 7 gives 1. So we end up that g dash x equals 1 over x times lin x minus 2 all squared. Now we're trying to show that this is larger than 0 all the time. Well, there's a 1 on top, which is positive. We're told that x is always larger than 0, it's an x on our denominator, and the rest of our denominator is squared, so we've got a number larger than 0 times by a squared number, which must be positive, hence g dash x is larger than 0 for all values of x. For part c, we need to find the range of values of a for which g of a is larger than 0. So g of a larger than 0, means that 3 lin a minus 7 all over lin a minus 2 is larger than 0. I think for a fraction to be larger than 0, one way is for both the numerator and the denominator to be larger than 0. So 3 lin a minus 7 larger than 0 and lin a minus 2 larger than 0 would give us lin a larger than 7 over 3 and lin a larger than 2. So a is larger than e to the 7 over 3 and a is larger than e squared. Now, for it to be larger than both of those, we're going to need to take it larger than the larger of the two. So a is larger than e to the 7 over 3. The other way for this to be larger than 0 is for the numerators to both be negative, because then the negatives would cancel out and we would end up with a positive. So we're going to end up with our numerator and denominator less than 0, which would give us a smaller than e to the 7 over 3 and a smaller than e squared. This time we're going smaller, so our answer is going to be the smaller of the two, so a is smaller than e squared. So looking at our two answers, we're also told at the beginning that x has to be larger than 0, hence a is larger than 0. So a must be between 0 and e squared, and larger than e to the 7 over 3. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.